没有人提醒我。Four over five times hundred、uh -huh. over one. Get it, Athene? Okay. That so, was Enzo's job. Yeah. So four times one hundred over five times one. Get it, Athene? So one hundred divided by five equals twenty. Five divided by five equals one. So it's eighty over one. So the answer is eighty. So let's see, three over four times 40. So equals three over four times 40 over one. Equals three times 40 over four times one. So 40 divided by four equals 10. Four divided by four equals one. So the answer is 30 over one. So the answer is 30. Get it, Ryan? Which part are you making mistakes? Uh -huh. Hmm? Uh -huh. Refine it? Yeah. 那还要不要再再错了要怎么样？怎么样？打什么 ？Poop poo， 打 poop poo 啊 ？Yeah， 我才不知道打你的 poop poo 呢，真是恶心死了。Okay， so now let's go back to this one. Okay， so we have this one. We have calculated out equals one hundred twenty. So two over three times x equals two over three x. Right. So x equals 120 minus 2 over 3x, correct? Now just to go clear it. Okay, so everybody, this is negative 2 over 3x. I move it over here. So Ava, let me ask you, before it's negative 2 over 3x, 我搬家了, when it's 搬家了, 它从负的就会变成什么呀? Positive. Thank you. So the X is still stay in the left side, right? So the right side moving to the right side, left side. So it became this one. Get it, everybody? And so, okay, so X plus two over three X. Today, eco X, Jasha, two over three to X. One and two over three X equals 120. Correct, Athene? So do we want one and two over three X? No, we want one X. So we divide it by one and two over three, and we divide it by one and two over three. Get it, Eva? So one and two over three X divided by one and two over three X equals X, correct? Get it, Athene? Do that, Athene. 菲尼，你把你的头熊猫头像弄掉吧，因为你看，你要是我看不到你的眼睛，你知道吗 ？Ryan 也弄掉。我先跟大家说一下，我为什么一定要让大家都把摄像头打开啊？就是我也不会说，哎，菲尼这么不好看 ，Ryan 这么帅，哦，哎，这么长得美，我是这种人吗？我太是了，对不对？我太是这种人了。老师希望能够看到你们的眼睛 ，OK？ 你们知道眼睛是什么作用吗？ Yan Jing is singing the trunk. We can see things. Yeah, we can see if you have a face of doubting or the face of understanding. Understand? So by looking at your face, I can tell you really understand or not. Okay, so Jay-Z, 1 and 2 over 3x divided by 1 over 2x is like 2x divided by 2, 4x divided by 4, 100x divided by 100. Get it, Thini? So when they have, no matter how many of them have, you divide it by itself, it's always equals one. So 100 divided by one and two over three, how to do it? So 120 times five, sorry, divided by. So we need to transfer the first one into improper. So do, does everybody in this class know one and two over three equals five over three? Yes. Yes, okay, so now how to do it? 120 times three over five, right? So you flip them. So again, it's 120 times three over one times five, because this is like that. Okay, so Enzo, take a look. I'm going to using 120 divided by first, five first, and so it's 24. And divided by five equals one, so it's 24 times three over one times one equals 72. 72 degrees is the answer. This question is pretty hard. Okay, this question is pretty hard. I'm going to do it again from very beginning. Everybody, I want you to copy 
and doing together with me. How about like that? I give you one minute. Try to do yourself. Just do all the like proper um equations, and I'm going to do it right after. One minute, everybody. Okay, Ryan, 不许再吃了，解一点好不好？ Uh, I wasn't eating. I just finished. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to just to give you all everybody a thing. Okay, so I just assume this angle equals x. Then this supplementary angle is what, one hundred eighty minus x. Okay, so the question said the measurement of this angle is when you see is equal two third. So it's two over three, right, Ava? When you see of, that means times. It's supplement. So it's 180 minus x. So x equals, remember I said the equal sign need to be on the same line. So two over three x 180 equals 120. And two over three times negative x equals minus two over three x. And I want to move this little guy and move it from right to left. So it became x plus two over three x equals 120. Okay, so now because one and two over three x equals one and two over three x equals one hundred twenty, we can also write it as five over three x equals one hundred twenty. And I don't want five over three x; I want one x. So I need to divide it by five over three, 
And also the left side and right side need to divide by phi over three as well. So phi over three x divided by phi over three equals x and 120 times three over five, right? Because it's divided the fraction is times the reciprocal of this fraction equals 24 times three. So the answer is 72 degrees. Get it, everybody? So this is how you do it, okay? So Ryan, did you get the homework for last week? Yeah. Okay, did you do it? Uh, did some, or well, not some, most of it. Okay, good. So let's take a look at number nine. Two angles are complementary, and the measurement of when one angle is 24 less than the other. What is a measurement of the bigger angle? What is a complementary? Do you still remember? Yep. Mm -hmm. We talked yeah. about it like two seconds ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a question. Why mm -hmm. do you specifically ask Ryan? And not uh, because because he all his his parent his mom told me, he always says he can't do the work. Then I said, this is in the WeChat group. He can't say he can't do the work. My mom's not added to the WeChat group. <laughs> That's not possible. No. Yeah, I need that. Yeah. Where's Lilac? Oh, Lilac to Xin Chi the Bana. You will Lilac and Xin Chi say your shirt. Oh. You sound telling at Ava. No. Wait, his real name is Grace, right? Yeah. You sound what you holla. You miss me only, okay? You're not allowed to miss anybody else. <laughs> well, I don't Ava. miss anybody else. Ava? It miss Ava like Carrie only. You don't like anybody. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> You're so mean. Okay, then Carrie likes Ryan only. <laughs> okay, so everybody, do you know how to do this one? So, Ava, if you want, the first angle is 20, is, is, is uh, for instance, x degrees. And the, uh, the second one is what? Is it 90 minus x degrees? Correct, everybody? Right, because two angles are complementary to each other, right? And a measurement of one angle is 24 less than the other. Okay, now we'll just run 90 minus x. The second one minus the first one equals 24. Do you understand? Correct, because the bigger one, I just said this is a bigger one. This is a small one. So this bigger one minus a small one equals 24. Don't you get it, everybody? So now please tell me, what is a measurement of x? Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah.
Okay, so everybody, if you understand this one, so it could be what? It's 90 minus 2x equals 24. So moving 24 over there, so 2x equals 90 minus 24, right? So equals 66 <laughs> equals 24. So sorry, A equals 2x, what I'm doing. Pua, pua. So x equals 33. 33. And, and another one equals 那你看五十六减三十四等不等于二十四呢？你们检查一下嘛，对不对？他说两个角度差二十四度啊，对不对？So fifty-seven minus thirty-three equals twenty-four. Correct, everybody? Okay, you need to check your answer. I think you just need to add a little bit. It's about fifty-six and thirty-three, right? It's just a little bit. Well, Ava, you understand? So Ava, if you look, if your answer is one thirty, one sixty. 那六十减三十不等于二十四度啊。It's not twenty four degrees. Understand? Okay. So let's take a look at number ten. So two and oh, but but two angles are complementary. 好，一看到这句话 ，one is x, the other one is ninety minus x. 写好了，对不对 ？The measurement of one angle is half measurement of the other. 太简单了。Half x equals ninety minus x. Correct. OK， 好，自己做This time, Athene, you get it quick and you get it right. Congratulations. Good job. Hmm. Ah, just Athi, you do it out. Let the other kids do it. So, Ava, let me ask you: the negative x I move over there will be what? Positive. Very good. So mm -hmm. half x plus x equals 90, right? So is it 3 over 2 x equals 90, Ava? Yeah. Yeah? Now, woman, in order to get rid of 2 over 3, she was times 2 over 3. Now times 2 over 3. Correct? So 2 over 3 and this one's gone, right? So equals what? Equals 30 times 2 mm -hmm. equals 60. So x equals 60. So 90 minus x equals 30. And you can do it. You find the x, it should be 30 do. Should be going to get yeah. Okay, what's it been? But that's true. I'll have some penalty that way. I think very good. Do you good job? If I'll tell you a lot. Okay, you can see that 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 you can
uh, Athene, you can look at the 11th one. You can take a look at the number 11 first. Don't let the 11th one go back, otherwise I'll hit you in your head. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think you do it. Ah, okay. We're looking at the first one. Two supplementary angles are given. Ah, come, come. I'm asking you, I think you. What is supplementary? Come, 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 come. I think you. Come, come, come. What does supplementary mean? It means that two oh, angles oops. equals a hundred eighty. Yeah, two angles are 180 degrees. So that means if one of them is x, the other one is what? 180 minus x, correct, Athene? It's not complementary. The measurement of when and one angle is 50 less than the measurement of the other. So that means 180 minus x minus x. Ava equals what? Equals what? Okay, 一个角比另外一个角大五十度。那这个角减这个角等于什么 ？One to thirty. 啊，等于什么？等于什么 ？Fifty. Fifty degrees. Very good. Understand, Eva? One of the angle minus the other equals fifty. And so understand, Ryan, Jay Z, understand? Okay, so that means 180 minus 2x equals 50. So 2x equals what? 130. So x equals what? 65. And the other one is 180 minus 65 equals 150 degrees. Get it, everybody? Okay, get it? Okay. So these, these ones, we need to do really, really careful, okay? Very important, okay? Very, very important. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one, okay? So why we said three or two angles, they are supplementary, they plus together equals 180. Ava is because, a Jay-Z is because every single angle into a triangle plus together equals what? Ryan. Oh, I was picking up my pencil. Can you tell me? So the angle, the inner angle of a triangle, the plus together equals what? Jay-Z, uh, uh, very good, Ava. So can you tell me the question mark? 180 minus 70 minus 95 equals 180 minus 165 equals 15 degrees. Get it, Ava? Yeah. Okay, so everybody, two, three, four. Okay, three questions. I want you to send me the answer by chat.
Okay, number two, number three, number four. So I want you to, okay, Ryan, send it to me all together. Good job, Ryan, good job. Okay, Athene, Enzo, Jay-Z, and Ava. Athene, send it to me as well. Okay, Ryan and uh, Athene mm -hmm. has the, the number three question. You two have the different answer. So that means either Ryan, right, or Athene is right, or both of you are wrong, or only one of them, at least one of them are wrong, right, correct? Okay, Enzo has sent it to me. And Enzo and Athene's answer is exactly the same. So I'm going to think maybe Ryan's making mistakes for number three. Ryan, do you want to check your answer? Okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this. One. So first one, number two. Uh, Jay-Z, can you tell me the number two? Can you tell me how to do it? Um, you do, um, so you do 180 mm -hmm. minus... Oh, actually, oh, um, yeah, 180 um, minus 60, and then minus 85, and then you get the number. Minus 60 minus 85, right? So the answer is 180 minus 145, correct, Jay-Z? So equals yeah. what? 35. 35. 35 what? Degrees. Very good. 35 degrees. Very good. Number three. Ava, can you tell me number three how to do it? So um, 180 minus 80 minus 85. 180 minus 80 minus 85 equals? Equals 180 mm -hmm. minus, minus 160. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Sixty-five. Four hundred sixty-five. And equals, equals twenty-five. Ah, uh, no, Makanda. One hundred eighty minus one hundred sixty-five. So ten divided minus five equals five. So seven minus six. You think it's twenty-five or fifteen? Five. Fifteen. 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 Get it, everybody? Okay. Okay, so this is very important, oh. okay? With the calculation, it's really important. Okay, number four. I want to call Enzo. Can you tell me how did you do it? So first, 180 minus 50 and minus 65. Mm -hmm. So equals what? Um, that will equal... Um, wait, that is... 110 degrees. So it's 180 minus 150? Yep. Yeah. And it's 65 degrees. 65 degrees. Okay, good job. Okay, let's take a look at. So five, six, seven, eight, I think you all know how to do but it. But then I got it right. Yeah. 25, 15, actually. Oh, no, I thought you said the third question. Third question, you're right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, number five. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. Find the perimeter of each shape. Okay, so boys and girls, before we start, learn how to do these questions. I want to ask you a very simple question. What is perimeter? Hmm? Does everybody, anybody still remember that? Okay, Ava. Perimeter is like the outside of a shape. 
Very good. If suppose yourself is a little ain't, right? You just across, across, like over the shape, like how long you did crawl, right, everybody? So if you want to calculate the perimeter of the first shape, what is the name of first shape? Does anybody know that? Parallelogram. Parallelogram, very good, very good, okay. So for this one, did you notice that? Every single line is the same, right? So how do we calculate the perimeter of them? Well, we do 12 four. times four. Very good, 12 times four equals 48, 48 right? 48, feet. very good. 48, what, what, what did I hear? What did I heard? Uh, 48 feet. 48 feet, very good, because unit is the most important thing. If you said 48, you didn't give me the process, you didn't give me the equation, you just write a 48. Who does know it is 48 people, right? 48 kilogram or 48 apples. If 48 could represent everything, but 48 also, if you said feet, then people know that's a distance, right? Okay, so boys and girls, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very quickly, I want you to do them all and send me by chat. Thank you. Okay, I have received Ryan's. Ryan, good job. You sent it to me all over and I'm checking, okay? But did you just send me the number? What did I say? Oh, I forgot about the unit thing. You forgot about what, Ryan? Can you say it again? Uh, no, feet, <laughs> they're centimeter feet. And yeah, you forgot that, right? So I can think Ryan's giving me like all things. Okay, I have received uh, Athene, good job. Athene is sending me the answer with all the unit with it. Okay, and Ava, if you're doing one by one, try to give me the uh, the number of the number of the numbers. Sorry, number of the questions. For instance, you tell me that's a 20, number two, number three, number four, understood? And by the way, Ava, what are you eating? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm thinking that when, I didn't, I didn't smell it, but it looks very delicious. <laughs> no, it's because I have to dance right at six. Oh.
Okay, so boys and girls, let's take a look at this one, okay? So everybody, I have received almost everybody's answer. So the first one, because it's a rectangle, okay? So the first one, so when you see it is a rectangle, when we calculate the perimeter, of course you can do one side and plus them together, right? But everybody, I want you to take a look at this one. So two of them are the same, right? And these two are the same. So we can just of using the bracket and 10 plus eight and times two equals 18 times two equals 36 inches. Correct? Okay, so the next one, because they're all the same, so it's 12 times four equals 48 feet. So you're gonna notice that the number three and number one is actually the same thing, but just the shape is not putting them in the same position, right? So number four, you can see it is a square. So when you see the square, that means each of the line the same. So 14 times four equals 56 centimeter. Number five, regular hexagon. Okay, when you see regular, this is very important word, okay? A lot of people see regular, when we're doing the math competition, uh, you see regular, that means each of the line is the same. So probably some students just ask me, hey teacher, do you ever see some uh, hexagons not regular? Of course, we'll give them a So it's like that. So this is not regular. Yeah, look at Ava's face. So yeah, I know, it's weird, right? So this is regular hexagon. That means each of the line is the same. So five times six. We know hexagon means you have six sides, right, Jay-Z? So Didn't you four. just draw the Superman logo? Oh, really? Mm, yeah, I think so. So you're right, Ava. So this one, again, because 5.5 is the same, 4.5 is the same. So it's 4.5 plus 5.5 times 2 equals 20 centimeters. Okay, let's take a look at last two. So five plus four times two equals 18 inches and six times four equals 24 meters. Okay, so pretty easy. So let's take a look at this one. Parallelogram, how to calculate the area of the parallelogram because rectangle and square, you all know, right? So the parallelogram is the bottom times the height. So it's six times six equals 36 meters. Everybody, is that Athene, Athene? 36 what, meter? Remember Athene, tell me. Meter. Athene, no, square. You have to put a two Athene there, everybody. Okay, so I have noticed that a lot of students, they don't know that, okay? They don't know uh, when we are having Calculating the area, everything needs to be changed because it's six meters times six meters is 36 meter square. Okay, so the unit for all of those, you have to put this little two thingy on top of it. They call it square. And I just want to ask everybody a very simple question. When we're calculating like the volume, who started calling it thingy? Very good. So three thingy, which is called cube. Okay, so if you said we'll calculate the volume of a cube, it's 36 meters cube. Okay, everybody? So don't forget the unit. Okay, so 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'm waiting for your answer. Ready, go.
给你打了一个 to C， 你在上面我看到了。Cindy, <笑> very good for copy paste. Oh, thank you. 那 Cindy 真好，他放了一个那个 square 的那个东西在那儿，然后大家都可以用。Okay, so everybody, the first one, Ava, six times six equals thirty-six meters square, right? I have received Athene, and Enzo, next one, ten times eight equals eighty inches square, and seven times five equals thirty-five kilometers square, and seven times seven equals forty-nine inches square. Very good. Okay, good job, all of you. Okay, so very good, very good. But remember to redo, when you redo the homework, you have to make sure everything is still right. Okay, so now let's move forward to something we never learned before, is the trapezoid. Okay, in Chinese, it's called T-xing. Okay, Ryan, why is it T-xing? Because you can see, it looks like a T-zi. You can climb on top. Oh. So that's why it's called a T-xing, okay? So it's actually looking like a T-zi, right? 哎，你看你们家里面的梯子是不是都是这样的形状？然后一个个爬上去，没有吗？梯子不就是这样子的吗 ？OK， so let's take a look at this one. OK， so let me tell you how to calculate the area of the trapezoid. So the trapezoid is always having the top line and the bottom line and also the height. OK， so the area of the trapezoid is nine, the top line plus twelve. The bottom line times the height and divided by two. So the answer is twenty-one times six divided by two. Okay, so everybody, because they are times and division, they are the same level. So I don't want you to do twenty-one times six. Okay, I don't want you to do time twenty-one times six because twenty-one times six is a two three-digit number and divided by two. There's another division. It's too hard. Everybody, I want you to do twenty-one times. Six divided by three first. Six, sorry, six divided by two first. Six, six divided by two equals what? Three. Very good. So twenty-one times three equals what? Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Very good. Centimeter square. Get it, everybody. So um. So I I just want you to I just want you to understand I just want you to understand one thing. Okay. So math is not about doing a lot of lot of homework, doing a lot of like tons of homework. It's not like that. Is you find the simplest way and get the most right answer. Do you understand, Jay Z? Okay. So a lot of Ryan, I think when when your parents are little, they always think math need to do a lot of lot of questions. I don't think so. But you need to find out the easiest way because everybody. Twenty-one times six equals one hundred twenty-six, right? And one hundred twenty-six divided by two, you're doing one time two digit times one digit multiplication. And you do a three digit divided by one digit division. 
there's big possibility to make mistakes, correct? But six divided by two, I want to ask how many of you are going to make mistakes on six divided by two? Uh -uh. I don't think none of you will make mistakes. And 21 times three is just a one time two digit times one digit and plus there's no carry on that carry over number at all. 21 times six, one times six equals six, two times six, you need to carry over one, right? So one, two, six, but this one is just a one time three equals three, two times three equals six. You don't even have the scratch paper at all. Correct, everybody? So when you're having this one, the much possibility you're going to make it right answer. So let's take a look at number two, everybody. We're going to do what? The top line, which is 14, plus the bottom line, which is 18, and times what? Yeah. Times 10 and divided by two, right? So we're going to do the same thing. So 30, 14 plus 18 equals 32 and times 10 divided by two. So now, now this is a moment I want to ask you questions, okay? You want to 32 divided by two or 10 divided by two. I'm going to using 32 divided by two. Why? Because any, any number times 10 is the best thing. For instance, 123 times 10 equals 1230. 46 times 10 equals 460, get it? So times 10 is my best friend. I don't want to ruin this, but 32 divided by two, who can tell me 32 divided by two equals what? Mm. Uh, 30. Uh, yeah, very good, trust yourself. 16. 16, 16 very times. good. 16 times 10 equals what? 160. And meter squared, don't forget the unit. And you know what, everybody, this is done. Get it? So I am trying to say that to make the question easier, to make the calculation easier is actually making the possibility of getting the right answer much easier. The bigger possibility of getting the right answer. Understand everybody? Okay, so if you understand, I want you to do number three and number four yourself, okay? So everybody, I'm waiting for your answer. Please send it to me by chat. I am not done because I was Yeah, I know. I, I was about to talk to mom, okay? Uh we can kind of no minute tea or show when you're shanker, come get it, bunch of the shop, you know, do 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 show it. 
。那个 Jazzy， 你前面有事吗？如果我们可以提前十五分钟上课，因为 Ava 后面要去跳舞，可以吗 ？Jazzy， 你你把没把摄像头打开，没把声音打开，我听不到你在那瞎点头，我怎么知道？你前面还有事情吗？你前面有课吗？这这没有的话，那我们以后就四点十五分上课。Anzo， 你可以吗？可以，可以。OK，Ryan，、okay, can you be here like for for fifteen something like that? I can be here. I can be here at like four. OK, OK, <laughs> OK. How about you, Athene? Do you have anything like、uh, like you can do it? You don't. OK, very good. OK. Uh, then I, uh, Ava, I told、uh, you to. You can tell your mom. So we're almost set up, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you can. You can. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, we can start early. Okay. 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 Okay, so everybody, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so these are all the same, right? So we don't have to practice that anymore. But the only thing is, that you look at these gray ones. The gray one, you don't necessarily to、uh, put the unit because there's no unit, correct? Okay, so number nine, a trapezoid has an area of sixty centimeter and its height is six centimeter, and one of the base is eight centimeter. What is another base? Everybody, using the algebra, okay? This is another base. Get it? Okay. So if I name the other base equals x, okay. So I know it's one base plus another base times the height divided by two. Should it equals what? Enzo. Um. Equals um. Six. Very good, sixty. Okay, so everybody. So that means x plus eight times three equals sixty. Correct, because six divided by two equals three. So that means x plus eight equals twenty. Don't you agree with me? Twenty times three equals sixty. Correct, Athene. Give it. Okay, so x equals what? X equals twelve centimeter. So the answer is twelve centimeter. Get it. As long as you have the equation listed, everything is very easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. So if the trapezoid has an area of sixty-five feet square and the length of the base are twelve feet and fourteen feet, find its height. So this time, take a sumia. The top base and the bottom base is already know, and the area is not already know. You want to, we want to know the height. Do you know how to do it, everybody? Yes. Okay. I give you five minutes, and you do it yourself. Okay. No, one minute.
Okay, how I'm like so so everybody how to do this one. So 65 equals 12 plus 14 times what? Times a height divided by two, right? So 65 equals what? Equals 28 times height divided by two. So can I do, oh, sorry, it's 26, what I'm doing. So 26 times h divided by two. So I can do 26 divided by two first, equal 13 times h equals 65. So height equals five. So it's five feet. Get it everybody? Okay, so this is pretty much everything we learned today. And I just want to say, boys and girls, you're doing really good, okay? Just let you know, this part is in the Does anybody, one of you are eight, grade eight? I'm in grade seven. Okay, you're not grade eight at all, right? So I'm really happy all of you can, can understand it very well. And I'm going to send you the homework. Okay, Ryan, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you can change it. You've been doing it for a long time, right? Now, the goal of the goal is also getting better. If you don't do it, the goal of the goal is also getting better. If you don't do it, the goal is also getting better. Okay, so that's it for today's class. We're going to see each other next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye.